If you're like me, you can't help but notice that the leaves are changing outside and winter is coming. Hi, I'm Dr. Paige. If you're new here, I'm a family doctor. I'm married to Matt and we have three kiddos who range in age from three months old to three and a half years old. It's turning into fall and I know that a lot of people battle with the winter blues. We often think of seasonal affective disorder or SAD when we think about depressive symptoms in the winter. This is a clinical diagnosis. If you think you might have SAD, I can link in the description down below to a questionnaire you can take that you could take into your provider to see if you have SAD. But a lot of us, even if not diagnosed with a true depressive disorder in the winter, experience the winter blues. And I wanna help you understand what you can do about it safely, effectively, and naturally so that you can have a good mood all winter. I'm gonna break this out to you into four parts. Number one is just understanding what seasonal affective disorder is, which is a real form of depression that people can experience mostly in the fall and winter months. Up to 1 million people in the United States will experience seasonal affective disorder at some point in their life. So what can we do about it? Here come the three parts for treatment. The first one is the utmost important. 80% of people will get better with light therapy. So this is a specific kind of light that often comes in a light box that puts out 10,000 lux, which is just a unit of illuminescence. So how bright it is, you want to have a light box that can emit 10,000 lux and have it about two feet away from you. So one of the theories behind seasonal affective disorder is that we're not getting outside and exposed to bright light. The number one thing for your health this winter to avoid the winter blues, it's get exposure to bright light. If you don't live in a climate where you can do that, you can invest in a light box. I'll put some in the description down below, but specifically one that has that 10,000 lux. You want to use it in the morning. Start off with about 10 minutes every morning Best if you can do it right when you wake up, aim for before 10 a.m. You want the light somewhere within your range, but not looking directly at you. You want it about two feet away off to the side. If you can't afford to get a light box, there's plenty you can do. You can put your desk by a window, wherever you're working. You can set up your home space so that you're having breakfast, looking out at a window, any natural light that you can get exposed to. You can do aerobic exercise or go for a light walk, even if you have to bundle up in your scarf, your hat, put it all on, get outside. 80% of people will notice an improvement in their symptoms with just exposure to light. The second thing I wanna talk about is food because there are a lot of ways to improve your mood with food. There actually been multiple studies that showed people who have a vegetarian diet have improved moods and if they do experience depression, they have less severe symptoms. So even having meatless meals or a meatless Monday can help improve your mood. But specifically, there are a few foods I want you to focus on for the winter time. Foods that are high in complex carbohydrates, and those include sweet potatoes, winter squashes, brown rice, that type of food, and beans, peas, and legumes. So lentils, peas, black beans, peanuts, these foods are really good for your health in the winter. In addition to complex carbohydrates, foods that have a lot of B vitamins, specifically folate. Folate is also known as vitamin B9, and it comes from foliage. Not surprising, the name was derived from foliage or folate. So dark green leafy vegetables, spinach and kale, think about those ones rich in the green colors. That is a powerhouse food for the winter because you need folate in order to make serotonin. Serotonin is a chemical, a neurotransmitter in our brains that helps us feel happy and energized and content. So without folate, you can't make serotonin. So make sure your diet is rich in folate and green leafy vegetables. Okay, and last but not least, vitamin supplementation. What can you supplement with to help your mood in the winter? We've talked about vitamin D in other videos, specifically for lung health. I'll put a link to the video in the description down below, and I'll put a little card up here so you can find that video on lung health. But vitamin D, you want to aim for 1,000 to 2,000 international units a day. We make vitamin D from the sun, especially in the winter time. We can't get access to the sun for our bodies to make vitamin D from the sun in the same way that we can in the summer. 
So levels go down. And we specifically find lower levels of vitamin D in people who live the furthest from the equator. And it turns out those people also are more likely to experience seasonal affective disorder in the winter months. So vitamin D likely plays a huge role in our mental health in the winter time. I hope you're finding this information helpful. And if you are, please give me a thumbs up so other people can find it too. That's the way it works and then everyone can get these safe, effective tips for beating the winter blues so we can all feel happier together this winter season. I mentioned it in foods, but if you want to supplement with a B complex vitamin, you can do that pretty safely because B vitamins are water soluble, meaning if you take too much, you're just gonna pee them out. Most B complex vitamins will actually cause you to have orange or yellow pee. So beware if you take them, that's what it's from. You want to take your B vitamin early in the morning. So when you get up, you have your light breakfast, you have your light box on, take your B complex vitamin, take your vitamin D, and start your day by getting outside just a little bit, even if it's to walk to your car or walk into work, you are gonna battle the winter blues with the most natural, safe, effective ways possible. Thanks for joining me on this quick update about beating seasonal affective disorder and the winter blues naturally. Come follow me over at Instagram to see how my family lives a primarily plant-based life, and I will catch you in a future video.